This is the eye extruder. Can it save me from crampy hands? Let's find out. Hi everyone, welcome to an unboxing and review of this product. I am going to jump right in and open it up. Um, you might be able to see here though, its value is 256.99 euro. So in Australian dollars, that's like $550. Whoa, and that is super, super expensive. This is a product that I've kind of rewarded myself with. It's not really something that I super need. It's something that I wanted. Something that should help me with my surface mount work. I'm just going to stop talking while I open this. Okay. Here we go. I think my knife is getting a bit blunt. Too much mail opening, hey? Okay, what have I got? I've got the eye extruder solder paste dispenser. This is I'm just gonna put that right up. A tool. Oh wow, look at all the goodies in here. Let me just get a lot of this stuff out first. Yay for the Australian power adapter. Not, it's just, I believe it's just a USB plug, so it should be fine. I know what that is. Got some solder paste. Lots of pieces. Wow, and some bottom here. More tubes and goodies. Okay, I'm just gonna move some of this out of the way. I'm gonna have to do this in two parts. The review part is gonna be interesting because I need to learn how to use this first. But this is a solder paste dispenser. I'm not gonna put this together just yet. That lets you dispense, obviously, solder paste with a button. for accurate dispensing of measured amounts of paste onto pads on a PCB. So as some of you might have seen in my Neo 7 segment display video or in my last soldering set days video, I like doing a lot of surface mount work, but just using the solder paste dispenser with my thumb and just dispensing solder paste gets not only quite crampy and tiresome on my hand, but just getting the right amount of paste on every pad is super hard and after a while I get a bit lazy and it gets a bit stringy and you know the whole having it flow too much being able to retract it gets a bit messy so because I like doing a lot of surface mount work and I want to continue doing more and designing more boards with surface mount parts on it I thought I would just splurge and buy one of these which will allow me to actually dispense solder paste in measured amounts but I also got some accessories for it. So, this is the actual unit. I'll worry about how that goes together a bit later. This here is a pick and place add-on that allows you to use the unit in reverse and instead of dispensing paste, you can suction and actually pick up pieces and place it. And because there's no actual button on the pick and place attachment, the recommendation is to use a foot pedal. So I just went all out and bought everything that I needed all at once. So I've got a, a foot pedal that I can put underneath my desk and I can even either use that to dispense paste or to use it to pick up and place with the pick and place add-on. I'm assuming that's the uh, tube there for connecting to the dispenser for the pick and place. I went and bought just an assortment of all the different tips. A bit hard to see that with the, the lighting in the bag but there's a all different types of tip sizes and shapes. I've got a bunch from China as well that I've got, but you know, I want to just buy a pack of everything. I've got a whole lot of dispensing tubes, so I can put some of my existing paste that I've got in the fridge into these tubes. These tubes are a different shape and size to my existing solder paste tubes, so these are designed to actually fit inside. And what else have I got? That's pretty much it, it looks like. So I need to learn how to use this before I can obviously do a review. 
but so here's the first part of the video, which is the unboxing. No idea. Obviously, the tube has to come off. I'm assuming this battery's in there. It's got a, a display on the front that gives you, um, I believe, a full menu to control it. There's obviously no power here at the moment. I'm going to have to plug power in and have to find power from somewhere. That's the quick unboxing. I'm going to go away, learn how to use this, and come back and give you a review. Okay, we're back. And I have to say, the assembly and learning how to use the iExtruder was quite simple. I'm just going to try to keep my brightness down so you can see the screen on the device. I've got the camera pretty low, and every time I move it, the auto brightness adjustment kicks in. But as you can see here, there's this little menu, and from here we can set its mode, which will cycle between manual, this is dotted, and pick and place. But I want to be in manual mode right now. If I go over to menu, it's a pretty extensive menu system. So we've got the ability to preset a whole lot of different programs. So this current program, I've got dispensing for two units. I'm not sure what the 90 is, to be honest with you. Retraction of 10, and I'm not sure what the M is. I think that could just be the mode for manual. A bit hard to see these icons. Let me just see if I can keep readjusting the lighting. So then what I can do is, through all these different settings, I can actually manually adjust things. So the extrusion time of two, this should actually say what it is. Okay, that's the speed, how fast it comes out. This one is the retraction, the pullback, to make sure that there's no extra flow coming out after you've dispensed. And we've got this yin yang dosing mode, right, it was, yeah, manual. Good. We've got brightness of the screen. Maybe if I turn it down, it might be a bit easier to see. You can actually change languages. I'm just going to keep it in English. Not sure what languages are there. We've got the uh, stepping mode on the motor. So you can do finer stepping or more detailed stepping. And then just to standby. So that's the menu. It's quite extensive for a little unit. And so now that I've actually got mine set up, all I use is this is a forward button and a back button to dispense my paste. So I'm going to just move this out of the way, see if I can focus in on the board. Unfortunately, this is a white PCB with tin colored pads, so it might be a little bit hard to see what I'm doing, but I'm going to just give you a quick look at soldering some pads. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So I can just now click, paste, click, paste, click, paste, click, paste. I'm not sure that the dispensing amount I'm doing at the moment is the the right amount, I still need to play around with that. I guess I'd need to uh, finish a board first and see whether I'm actually putting enough paste down. But the nice thing about it is it's giving me an even dispensing amount every time. And it doesn't hurt my hand at all. I can just push the button and place. Now, of course, I can hold it for longer. So the actual unit itself kind of vibrates and clicks as it's going down. What I can do is just, if hopefully you'll be able to see this, I'll put my finger to hold the board still. I can like just click and hold and it'll just keep coming out. Like that strip there. And that's probably a little bit too much for an IC. It'd definitely be too much for this microcontroller pad over here. But as you can see, it's, well, that time didn't have enough. Oh, I'm pushing backwards. I've done that a few times actually. My hand hit the back button instead of the front button. Yep, so I still need to get used to using it. But the whole idea is that it frees up the cramping in my hand, gives me even dispensing once I get used to using it. I have the option of using the foot pedal as well. But I think I could sit here and do this easily for 20 minutes without getting a sore hand. The unit itself is actually quite heavy, but I think the, uh, the weight of my hand is definitely a better thing than having to keep my hand at an angle and can't really see with my hand so close and pushing my thumb all the time, trying to keep an even pressure on a syringe. Don't push too hard to get too much paste out and don't push too little and having to constantly dab and readjust myself. So I'm quite happy with this so far. 
Another just nice thing, just very quickly, is the uh, USB cable to power cable that came with it is super long. So I've actually got it, it's about two meters or three meters. So I've actually got it plugged into a power board next to my desk with a USB outlet. And yeah, it reaches all the way, which is fantastic. So this is the eye extruder. I'm just going to see if I can zoom out. Eye extruder for doing solder paste dispensing. Uh, in a future video, I might look at doing the pick and place, setting that up and getting the foot pedal working and do an example of that. But right now, my primary use for this is to put paste onto PCBs and I'm looking forward to using it on a production board. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and please share my videos around if you'd like to. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you think it's worth a thumbs down. Leave some comments, ask questions. I'm always happy to answer any questions that are in my comments. Until next time, take care. Bye.